Howdy! So in the hotel update of doors, we now have the room secret mode, which it can be found and you can access it around door 60, 61, or 62. I'm not sure precisely where or which room exactly it is, but it's pretty close around those. It's a secret room you can find that is located behind a closet. But before you can go in, you need to activate a lever that is ahead of this room, so it can open a gate that keeps us from getting there. Once you pull the lever, go back to the previous room and go to the secret passage behind the closet and you'll eventually find the room. You'll need two padlocks and a bone key, which I believe there's a chance to find it, very rare though, or you can also buy it for 250 coins after the room 50. Once you open all the locks, there we have it. We're in the new room secret mode. I guess we could call it that way. Now of course in rooms we need to make it to door 1000. You'll eventually find some doors that say exit but of course those are not the doors you're looking for. Your main goal is to make it to door 1000 of course. But there are three monsters that you need to worry about throughout your run. Of course I'm pretty sure everyone knows already about this. If you already know I'll put a timestamp so you guys can skip ahead. But if you don't, allow me to explain. I want to talk a little bit of more details and patterns and the safest way to complete your run in rooms. So the name of these monsters pretty much say the rooms that will start encountering them. However, I have heard that there's a chance you can find these characters early on. So let's go in order here. A60. A60 is just like Rush. You'll hear a menacing build-up sound. It somewhat or kind of sounds like an explosion getting closer and closer to you. When you hear this, find a locker and hide, and just wait for him to pass by. A90 works pretty simple. He'll appear at a random chance on your screen for a split second. Once he makes his appearance, stay still. Don't move, don't look around, and don't get in or out of any lockers. He will deal a total of 90 damage to you if it catches you on full health. And of course, if he catches you again, or if you're lower on health, then yes, you will be done. And last but not least, A120 is pretty much like Rush as well, or like A60, but this one comes from the front. You'll know he's coming whenever you hear a repetitive and heavy footsteps. You need to find a locker and you should be fine. But after he passes by, don't get out of your locker just yet. At least, I would recommend to at least stay in the locker until you can hear he's completely gone. Why is that? Well, there is a chance he can come back just like Ambush. So as I said, I strongly recommend to just stay in the locker and wait until you hear him no more. Now here are the strategies I recommend you guys to try to have a safer run. Now these tips I'm about to say are mainly focused for those who want to do a solo run. I personally prefer doing it solo since having other players opening doors before you can lead into awkward encounters with these monsters. I also recommend if you can to have a normal flashlight instead of depending off the rechargeable green one. Now to start off with the tips. First one is just being patient. Making it to door 1000 will probably take you around 2 hours. Yes, I am not kidding. This will take you around a good 2 hours depending how you run or how you play. A lot of poor and rushed decisions can lead into dying and having to do the whole process all over again. which was really close. And yes, by that I mean you'll have to go into the normal game, find the lever, get the two lock pegs and the bone key once again. So nobody wants to do all of that again and again and again. So just be patient and have your volume all the way up. 
for A60 and A120, which are monsters that come from the front and from the back, I got the perfect tip for you guys. The only time these monsters will spawn is whenever the room you're currently in has lockers or the room ahead of you. You will never, you will never hear a monster coming if your current and next room have no lockers to hide in. So yes, the game will always be fair with you and it will always throw monsters at you whenever you have a locker nearby. And now for the last tip for the last monster, which is A90. A90 will be the one that will give us a lot of trouble in our runs, and is most likely the one that will end up killing us or ending up our run. As we mentioned before, A90 can appear at any time on your screen, but when you hear any of the other two monsters heading your way, A90 will have higher, and when I say higher, I mean way higher chances of appearing while you're trying to find a locker. He could even appear twice, and of course, that wouldn't be so bad if we weren't timed by the other two monsters that are heading our way and we need to find a locker. But while this is happening, I recommend to be calm and patient. A60 and A120 will give you plenty of time to hide, so if A90 appears, don't panic, stop and wait to avoid him until he goes away, and then safely get into a locker. Regarding this monster, I also recommend to wait for a split second before getting in a locker or out, just because he could kill you if he catches you doing so. And this is exactly the reason why I died a couple of times, because of the unfortunate chance of A90 appearing before I get in a locker and me trying to get in a locker after he warned me. So don't challenge him. Wait a second and make sure he's not on your screen and then get in a locker. And that's pretty much it. The rest just repeats itself over and over. I really hope the tips help since losing the disc really, really sucks. So understanding the system and how the pattern works will definitely make it easier for you to complete this long run. Good luck to those who decide to try it out or just needed help on this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!